Hey guys, um, I just got back from going to two, well, two, three Dollar Generals in my area because I was looking for a couple specific items and the first two Dollar Generals were a bust. I didn't find nothing that I was looking for. They did have other stuff that I liked, but not stuff on my wish list. They did have several other things though that I liked that I couldn't get because I needed to prioritize my wish list items first. They, there was a black and red wig that I wanted that had bangs and a lot of cutesy like little little small things and and mugs and cups and the squishy that I wanted and some like uh, wooden potion bottle signs and a, another couple of tabletop signs that lit up and a skeleton a cool eight dollar skeleton cat but at the third one on the way home finally I found what I was looking one item only one item that I was looking for but it was the mo my most coveted item. And they only had one left in the store, which was this coach that I saw on Creative Chica's Halls and Crafts channel. Hi, Tony. I told you I would go today to Dollar General to look for this coach. And yes, I, I, I almost missed out on it because my first two Dollar Generals didn't have it. And then the third one only had one left. And it was I, I got lucky that it wasn't broke or anything. Just a little tiny white chip on the top over there that I, I can just color with black uh, marker. And it lights up. And look, it has a cool bat over there on the top. And I love bats. And then it has this skull and scro crossbones. And it has the purple drapes. And it's so detailed that I just love it. I love the shape of it. I love the purple drapes. And it says, oh, I see. It's a fortune teller wagon. Oh, my God. I couldn't see Tony in, in your video that well because I didn't see the fortune teller sign. It probably was on the back. Oh, it's like a gypsy wagon. Oh, my God, which is even better. I, I bought every single fortune teller sign that they had this year. I don't know how many I bought. And I bought uh, several last year, too. And I love fortune teller, like, uh, themes. Uh, no wonder I like this, uh, <laughs> like this wagon so much and look there's like spider webs right there in the corner and it says light up haunted decoration on there and I can't show you with one hand but yeah there's like a it takes at those uh, cell batteries those cell batteries and I don't know what size though but yeah I checked it in the store and it works so I got oh my god I was so lucky I found the last one in, in three of my stores some of the other stuff that they didn't have that was on my wish list were those tall, um, they look like tall candlesticks, but it's like on a, on a pole, and then the top is like a glass eye, and there's two variations. There's like a female eye, and I think a male eye, and they, they, like I said, they look like candlesticks, like tall wooden, wooden candlesticks, like on a pedestal, and they didn't have those at, at any of my three Dollar Trees. And I can't remember what else I was that I saw in people's walkthrough videos. What else did I want? Oh, those tabletop wooden coffin-shaped signs where there's four, three or four different kinds that Dollar Tree also has. But my five Dollar Trees don't have them yet or they're never going to bring them. But I saw in people's walkthrough videos that Dollar General also has them, but not for $1.25. I don't, they didn't say how much they were. I forgot how much they were, I mean. But none of my three Dollar Trees had those coffin wooden shaped uh, tabletop um, decor pictures, which I was bummed about. Because first I don't have, they did, my five Dollar Trees doesn't have them, and now my three Dollar Generals don't have them either. So I don't think they're ever going to come in my area, which is the same thing every year. A lot of the good stuff, it never makes it to my area here in, in Ohio. Oh. <sighs> But uh, yeah, this was my w most wished list items. I got lucky. If I waited a few more days or a week, it would have been gone. And then I got one of these like lenticular $1 tumbler, it says, lenticular tumbler. And I got this cute one with a ghost. I, I'm usually not into ghosts at all. I'm very picky in ghost stuff. But I like this cup because it had crescent moons on it. And I loved how colorful it was and the stars and it even has bats. And then um, it says boo on the back with more bats over here on the bottom. Look at that cool back bat. And like I said, it's lenticular. It changes like pictures when, when you move it. And then inside is white. They had so many cute tumblers there that, that I couldn't afford. All the tumblers that came with the straws were $5 each. 
they had two different styles of the tumblers and I couldn't get them and then they had mugs that were only three dollars three dollars even and this they only had two left of these and only one of my three dollar general had them and the one they only had two and the other one was really chipped over here in in the back so I got lucky that I got the last one of this witch's brew mug too just like this fortune teller wagon and I love stuff with witchy theme and with cauldrons. I love things with cauldron and, and witchy themes. And I love, I like that the, the inside of the mug is green. It's not black but it, or white, but it's green. I, I like that. And that is so neat. But it's not double-sided. The picture is not on the back, just on the front. And like I said, it's only $3. And then... I got these a pack of these gel sticker dec decoration. They're basically gel window clings. And when I saw this bat, oh my god, I ha I grabbed it. Look how cute the bat is. He's hanging upside down, and his wings are purple. And there's a he's hanging from that branch right there upside down. And there's there's a star there, leaves, another star, more leaves, and I don't know how many pieces you, is in here. It doesn't say. But they had another one, guys, that I wanted to, one with two black cats and a, and a little picket fence. And I had to leave it back, so maybe I can get it next month if it's still there. And then I got a bag of these Lindor maple uh, chocolates. It says limited edition for fall. And I like, I love this packaging on there. It's so pretty with the leaves. It has all these leaves on the top. And then it has this um, this glass jug of this maple syrup right there, and more leaves. I never tried these before, guys. So I'm sure they're, I'm gonna like them. I'm gonna they're gonna be really good. They're gonna be delicious because I, Lindor Lint uh, chocolates are my favorite. Those are my favorite chocolates. Are, are Lindor and Lint. More specifically, the chocolate truffles Lindors are my favorite. So I can't wait to try these maple ones. I never, like I said, I never tried them before. And let me see what the serving size is over here on the on the back. Um. Oh, I can't tell right now. It's hard to see because it's gold, gold writing. And then I got a mini bag of these Breaking Bones Kit Kats that I've been looking for for at least three weeks and I never found them until, until today. I was looking for them at Walmart, but not in the huge bag because they're, they're just for me, in the small bag like this. But I, I was able to find them in the small bag today at Do Dollar General and I like the packaging with the crescent moon and the stars and that skeleton wearing that top hat with this purple bow and he's breaking that Kit Kat and yeah, it says it's white cream. I don't, it doesn't say white chocolate. It says crisp wafers in white cream. Breaking bones. And then on the back, you get four servings per container. Four, uh, four servings. I got this to put in my new uh, candy plastic dish that I got from Dollar Tree this year. If you want to see what it is, just look back about two Dollar Tree hauls. And I bought that, that one long one that Dollar Tree brings every year. It's in shape of a piece of candy, and it's purple, and it's really long and plastic. I got it to put it in that, in that new uh, candy dish that I got. And then I got some dish towels right there. This one is with a cute ghost. This is Happy Halloween. And then it has a dog on there and a cat. And they're riding on a broom. They're riding on, on a broom, and I love what the dog's wearing that little cape it's it's showing up blue on camera but it's purple it's a purple cape with stars on it and what the heck and uh, his green hat it looks yellowish but his hat is green and then the the cat is wearing a green bow tie and the cat has purple eyes and there's some more bats and stars on the bottom and the broom's purple and then oh happy halloween oh i didn't notice that until now howl Halloween, and then it has bones um, in between the O right there, a bone I mean. And then this one I got for fall, this one is good to decorate with for three months, from like the beginning of September to like November 30th or 31st. There's a squirrel on there on the top, and I love squirrels, and mushrooms and a white pumpkin and an orange pumpkin and an owl sitting on a pumpkin 
fox. This is what sold me, guys, is the fox. Because I love foxes. They're one of my favorite animals. And look at that. The fox is wearing a scarf. Oh, my God. And then mushrooms. Another squirrel with an acorn. Look at the stack of pumpkins. How pretty. With the flowers on there. With that blue flower. And then another white pumpkin um, with a blue flower right there. And another owl and a fox and more mushrooms. And this, all this, uh, these all both came, I think they came with a pack of two. And they were $3 a pack. I think you got two of them and they, they were $3 a pack. And then I needed guys some leggings because I lost a lot of weight recently and none of my clothes fit me anymore. I, in fact, I had to donate garbage bags full of clothes to Goodwill the past year, year and a half. And I don't have any more leggings that, that fit me. They were all like bigger, like size extra large that were falling off and I couldn't even wear them out in public anywhere because they, they kept falling off of me. So I got these size medium by Bobby Brooks. They didn't have a price, guys. If you look at the, for these at Dollar General, I had to ask that guy to scan it for me. There's no price, but they, they were $5. And I'm not sure if these medium fit. I might have to return them and if they don't fit, if they're too big. Because, I, I, I mean, I used to wear extra large before, but now I wear medium or small. So I hope these fit. If not, I'm going to have to get my money back. Because they, they don't come in a size small. They're only sizes medium through. Medium says large, extra large, and 2X. They're, they're, they don't have size small. And they don't have size 1X either, which is weird. They jump from extra large to 2X. So that's it, guys. I wanted so many more things, like I told you, from Dollar General. Maybe, maybe next month, or maybe my birthday's coming up. My birthday's on Monday, September 11th. If I get some birthday birthday money, maybe I'll go back then. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.